what else can you do with one of these lenses? Well, we're gonna try to boil some water. Start the clock on that. I'll put the steel wool in there so it'll it'll actually capture the, uh, the sunlight a little bit better. Um, otherwise, you'd be better off putting the water in like a um, you know a dark steel container so the uh, the steel will absorb the heat. But you know I wouldn't be able to show you the uh, the boiling action if uh, if I did that. So hopefully the steel wool will uh, essentially do the same thing as what a dark container will do. Water's already starting to steam a little bit. Um, I see some bubbles coming out, but I, I think that might have just been from the uh, from inside the steel wool itself. Let me uh, let me tap it a little bit, see if I can release some of those bubbles, so we're not. Whoo! Yeah, it's it's already getting hot. the steam coming off that or not. I'm wearing, uh, I'm wearing wel welding gl glasses. Uh, I can't, whoa, so I can't really see the, uh, can't really see the steam very well. Still very cold out here today. I guess it's probably. I guess it's gotten up to about 38, 36 to 38. Now, if this lens was prepared. A little bit better it would probably heat this amount of water and or it would probably boil this amount of water in probably 30 seconds or so 15 to 30 seconds depending on the quality of, of the lens i'm hoping that this doesn't actually bust the glass this is um this is pyrex so pyrex i know can handle you know much higher temperatures but I think that if I was just shining it on, you know, an empty glass without any water in it, it probably would still shatter the glass. I guess it would help if I turn the right side of the lens towards the Yeah, that's better. You do have to have the lens facing the right side. I don't know if this is coming out on the camera or not. It might be reflecting off the glass and too bright for the uh, lens to actually see it. It does look like it's burning the, the top of the um, of the steel wool a little bit. I'm trying to get the spot down down low but you can see you should be able to see the bubbles coming out of the water now. So I think if I if I would have had this <laughs> facing the right way, um, it would have probably started it within a minute or so, a couple of minutes maybe. But that just shows you, you know, you don't necessarily need electricity or uh, or any kind of fuel whatsoever to uh, to boil water. 
no smoke, no fire. Zero carbon footprint. So you can see right there it's boiling. I take it, take it out and it'll stop bubbling. Put it back in, it starts bubbling immediately. This would make a pretty good cooking lens. I could see myself doing a, like a slow cooking pot roast or a big pot of stew or something. And there we have it.